Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Torquay. Travelled down to Devon yesterday, uh, spent a lot of the day on the M5 um, with the bank holiday traffic, so didn't film an awful lot, just popped to Plymouth, um, had a little leg stretch, a bit of uh, fresh air and a cheeky waffle. Um, and today we've got up and headed straight to a very sunny Torquay, so just having a a little walk with the dogs um, and then I think we'll find some coffee. We parked up in the Abbey car park and then headed towards the seafront. I'm not sure we were meant to walk along this bit of grass, although where we entered it wasn't blocked off or anything, but it did allow us to find this amazing tree. Every time we come to Torquay, we always say that we should walk up the Royal Terrace Gardens to the Rock Walk, and today we turned all that talking into walking. It was nowhere near as daunting as we'd originally thought, and it affords an amazing view across the bay. The views on the way down at the town end weren't quite so special. Then we headed back and were lucky enough to find an outdoor table at Visto Lounge. It's great here because it's a sheltered position where you can sit back, relax and watch the world go by. We also like the menu and the fact that you can order online from your table which makes it a lot easier when you're travelling with dogs. It's also super dog friendly, inside and out. replenished, we headed out onto the sandy beach. Dogs are allowed at this time of year.
then there was time for one more trip through the park to admire the spring flowers before calling it a day for today's trip. The mist didn't last long and spring was in full force as we headed to Plymouth. We made quite an early start as we wanted to guarantee a parking space and that definitely paid off as we had the pick to choose from. Before settling on a space, we took a drive through the picturesque Barbican area. Then we headed round the host seafront and parked up on road opposite the Ocean City Coffee House. That would be our destination later for one final ice cream before leaving Devon. headed out quite early because it was quite hard to park the other day because it was busy so we thought get there early get parked up um, just taking the dogs for a walk around the hoe got the lighthouse in the background which I'm not going up because I tried that once and got freaked out by the staircases in there so uh, not going to do that for you today um, but yeah I'm going to head and try to find a coffee uh, hopefully in a shelter spot where we can drink it outside but it's a nice sunny day just a bit bit blustery at the moment. We spotted this car park which looks suitable for motorhomes. There's even two spaces that are long enough for them. Not sure if you can park every night though. The coffee place we settled on has jumped pretty much to the top of my list of favourite places. I loved the atmosphere, the coffee was great and the almond croissant was beautiful. The hot food we saw being brought out for other people looked really delicious as well, so next time that will definitely be on the agenda. at the van, we watched the ferry come in, treated ourselves to one final ice cream and then headed home. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content. See you in the next one!